In the first part of this series, we're going to learn the basics of navigation in desktop mode of VR. There are different types of navigation modes, which you can switch between during the VR experience. Each of those modes suits a certain type of scene. So let's get to know them all. The first thing we need to do before beginning to view the scene in VR is setting up the starting position. Make sure you're on the VR workbench and from the VR viewer menu, select Set Start Position. A human model will be loaded into the scene. Click anywhere to snap the starting position to where you clicked or use the transformation tool to position it. Keep in mind that you can always select the starting position from the object tree to the left and move it to wherever place you want. Now that we're done with setting the starting position, from the VR Viewer menu, select Show in Viewer. From this dialog, we choose whether to run the experience in desktop mode or in VR mode if we have a VR headset such as HTC Vive or Oculus Rift. You also have the option to protect the file which will not allow the user to save the scene from the VR viewer. Optimizing the scene speeds up the experience by merging inactive 3D objects and it does not take a lot of time to perform. Therefore, I suggest you always use this option. Click on desktop mode to run the experience in desktop mode. Use the up and down arrows on your keyboard to move forward and backward. You can also use the W and S keys. To strafe left and right, use the left and right arrows or the A and D keys on your keyboard. You can also use a combination of keys like right and down to move diagonally. To look around, move the mouse. By combining the arrow keys on the keyboard and the mouse, you can move and look around in the scene with ease. The user is allowed to walk on flat surfaces and will collide with large objects like walls or closed doors, but will be able to go upstairs. The user can also use elevators of all sorts to move from one place to another. If while moving you hold the shift key, you will move faster. The sprint mode can be useful when covering large grounds. Click the mouse wheel to reveal the VR menu. From this menu, click the navigation icon. By default, the navigation mode is set to walking and you can set the walking speed by clicking on the icons at the bottom of the panel. Select the flying mode from the same menu. In flying mode you can move left and right and forward and backward similar to the walking mode. But if you were to look up and press the up arrow on the keyboard you will fly in that direction without being constrained by gravity. Flying allows you to explore larger scenes faster and get to places that are otherwise unreachable. If you were to switch back to the walking mode, you will be dropped to the ground at that location. To jump up, use the space bar on the keyboard. The third navigation mode in this top viewer is the mechanical mode. The mechanical mode, as the name states, is suitable for examining mechanical designs since you can rotate around the object and focus. Scroll up and down the wheel to zoom in and out. Hold the left click and move the mouse to look around you. To switch the focus to another object, double click that object. 
Navigating the VR experience in desktop mode is pretty easy and straightforward. It comes in different modes which allows you to explore different kind of scenes with ease. 